Hi everyone. I am Dr. Sandeep Sharma, Pediatric Super Speciality Faculty at Preplader. And uh, I and I Super Speciality results are out and we have uh, our guest, Dr. Arnab Gurui with us. Dr. Arnab has got AML rank 5. Yes, you heard it right, AML rank 5 in the INI Super Speciality May 24 exam in this uh, branch of DM Neonatology. And soon he's going to become one of the leading neonatologists in the country. Soon here means after three years, but the journey will start now. So it is our privilege to invite Dr. Arnab to this interview. Dr. Arnab, welcome. And congratulations. Yes, thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, it's a great pleasure uh, to have a live discussion with you. Uh, in the uh, pre platter video, I used to see you and I used to follow you, but uh, I never thought I will be having a live discussion with you. So it's a great opportunity for me. See, the, the pleasure is all mine. And uh, see, end of the day, although we look very, you know, intimidating and very daunting and very, you know, uh, too much far away, but eventually we are people like you only. And right mm -hmm. now the focus is not me. The focus is entirely yours. You are the one who has succeeded. So before we ask about how did you prepare and all the uh, things our uh, viewers will be interested in knowing, please tell us about your background. Uh, sir, uh, I am uh, from West Bengal, uh, Durgapur, West Bengal. I completed my MBBS from Medical College, Kolkata in the year 2020. Then I joined MD Pediatrics. Uh, this is done from Ames, Patna. I completed MD Pediatrics in 2023. Hmm. After that, uh, I appeared for the INISS, uh, the last session, where I got a rank of uh, 25. Uh, then this time I appeared again and I got a rank of 5, sir. Great. So it was your second attempt in INSS. This was my second attempt, sir. Okay. So uh, be because you have appeared in the previous exam also, what were you doing wrong, do you feel, uh, in the previous attempt? And what uh, corrections did you make in this attempt where, where you got successful? Yes, sir. In the previous attempt, what I find ki I am strong at neontology, but the other and pediatrics also, the domain I was lacking is the biostatistics and the uh, health programs. So in this uh, session, so I uh, like put uh, some effort on the biostatistics and the health programs. Uh, and the general pediatrics, there will be uh, like uh, from the preplader notes, there is a concise note of pediatrics that is more than sufficient for pediatrics part in the DM neonatology exam. And for uh, neonatology part, uh, I read from the third uh, latest edition of the AIMS NICU protocol and few topics from Cloherty. Those are the only two resources I used for neonatology part. Uh, for pediatrics part, I used your lecture notes. And uh, for uh, biostats, uh, I used uh, some online resources, some YouTube resources, and uh, uh, some uh, advanced biostat books also. And for health programs, I uh, used to search the latest of what the health programs is coming in the wave. And uh, that's why I make some notes in my uh, own set. So no journals and no every for you? Sir, journal clubs usually happen to my institute uh, in an neontology department. So I was keep in touch with the recent journals on. So I need not to search for uh, a recent journals, sir. Whatever the in the morning lectures classes uh, in uh, like in the PG teaching, some journals clubs used to happen. So those journals I used to follow. So no additional uh, I did uh, journal search before my exam, sir. So the new AIMS protocol you mentioned, new AIMS yes. protocol have come out in 2024. And yes. I think there are three volumes to that. Uh, they are uh, definitely more uh, uh, you know intensive compared to the older edition. Yes, so uh, according to you, how much uh, of a role did those uh, protocols play in your preparation? Sir, this is very important because what I found in there are some topics that is included in the new protocol like genetics and some ethical topics are there on the, uh, on the additional part of the aims NICU protocol and also the fetal monitoring that is also greatly described in the new protocol and questions have come from those topics. So, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, there are few questions from the management of the uh, uh, thombus in the portal vein also that was uh, even actually one uh, flowchart is given in the in, uh, new protocol. So actually yes. the questions were from the, uh, the um, like I can surely say that from the additional part of the protocol, there was 10 to 15 questions. The right. new, whatever the new part has came, additional part, part huh? so the second, the third part, sir. Right. So it's a very important message Dr. Arnab is giving to all the future aspirants. INISS, if you're targeting, yes, uh, prep letter was his one of the sources that he utilized. We'll come to that in a while. But AIMS, NICU protocol, the latest ones have to be done. And in case you are finding difficulty in understanding the latest protocols, you have to do them yourself. But uh, at prep letter, we'll try that in the coming uh, weeks, 
will be putting more videos on that. Obviously, Arnab will not be needing them anymore. He might even be contributing to the AIMS protocol in a few years from now. So, Arnab, uh, please tell me, how did you find PrepLadder? You said that you utilized it for your uh, general pediatric part. What uh, yes. is that thing that you utilized, the videos, uh, the MCQ, the QBank, the grand test? Uh, what did you utilize and uh, how did it play a role? Uh, sir, I used PrepLadder during my MD only. During my three years of MD course, I used prep ladder uh, for uh, preparation of the uh, uh, general pediatrics uh, and systemic pediatrics. Uh, I made um, the notes uh, from the lecture videos, uh, and uh, those notes were very concise and it helped me during the revision because uh, it's difficult to revise from the Nelson from the at the very uh, last point. So it's a very useful notes. And uh, for neonatology, I uh, use some part of the uh, prebladder app, but most of the time I used uh, the textbook only because AIMS uh, NICU protocol is such a concise book, you need not to go for further uh, explanatory. And few topics where the understanding is needed, I followed the prebladder app. And uh, those uh, notes, uh, the pediatrics note uh, actually helped me during the uh, like uh, during the INISS. Uh, the most of the question around 60 to 70 percent will be from neonatology. The around 28 percent will be from general pediatrics. For that part, uh, so you cannot revert more time. So you will have to revert limited time. So that uh, concise note of the pre letter helped me a lot during uh, the studying of the general pediatrics and systemic pediatrics uh, for my INISS preparation. And did you solve MCQs and give GTs? Uh, sir, uh, I did not able to uh, uh, solve much MCQs. I solved MCQs, but I did not able to give GTs uh, as such. Um, uh, because, sir, like... Uh, what, I was, what, uh, matters, what matters is uh, that your understanding, your grasp of theory was good enough. And since yes. uh, you are already working, so I yes. think you were able to correlate... Sir, actually, I was working, so it was uh, very difficult initially to, to solve the MCQs. Uh, I took uh, leave for last seven days and uh, that time uh, it was like I have to revise everything. So I did not have any much time to like do MCQs and uh, solving. Uh, but I, I did that MCQ solving during my three years of uh, MD. That time I uh, did MCQ solving from the prep letter apps. But during this uh, last two, three months, I did not able to solve so much questions. But I, I uh, revised my uh, previous notes also. Because whatever mistake I did in the MCQ, I usually used to write in my original note the, the points to remember, something like that. Now, Dr. Arnab, I'm going to ask you a very practical question. I keep getting asked. And uh, to be honest, I, even I don't have the perfect answer to this. I need your take on this. Like a lot of students say that, sir, uh, suppose if I have to target neonatology at you have neonatal jaundice given in Nelson. You have neonatal jaundice given in Indian textbooks. You have given in Cloherty. You have a names protocol. And then you have the review articles and the latest app guidelines also. Yes. Which one to follow and which one actually works in the INISS? It's sir, a very practical for, question I'm asking. Yes, sir. for yeah. INISS, only one source you have to strict is the AIMS NICU protocol. What I feel in the past exam also, I find ki most of the questions are from AIMS NICU protocol. Few questions are from Cloherty. Those topics like multiple pregnancies and the uh, uh, high drops, non-immune high drops, those are not covered well in NICU protocol. Those are uh, covered in uh, very well in CLOHRD. But other than th uh, those topics, most of the topics are very well covered in uh, NICU protocol and the questions are framed based on the NICU protocols only. And uh, one thing has to, uh, like we have to understand because the uh, examination is taken by AIMS daily. So, so and the, the protocol also been made by them. So questions are going to come from the AIMS NICU protocol only. And the AIMS NICU protocol is very concise. What I think is, uh, revise AIMS NICU, uh, NICU protocol two to three times don't uh, change the resources you have to be like a use same resources and you have to revise multiple times that is the key of success multiple resources won't give you much yield so same resources multiple type revision that was the uh, mantra i used actually sir great and did you use nelson also along with the uh, your preparation in the general pediatrics part or did you stick to the prep ladder resources only uh, I used uh, prep letter resources only because uh, that uh, I don't had much time to uh, like go to the Nelson uh, from the like from the past to last page. So I used the uh, previously made the what was the note I had. So I that was a very concise note. So I able to revise in three to four days only on the all the systemic as well as general pediatrics. Oh. Yes, I have gone you are revising that, in three, three to four days means yes, I will sir. have to create more content. Yeah. 
<laughs> no sir i just uh, like uh, uh, look through like whatever i find ki it might be like uh, question so i used to highlight those points so what, whenever i am devising i just uh, want to like uh, see those highlighted point not the whole text I'm, because not, just uh, it is not a theory exam sir yes <laughs> so, yes, yes i know i'm joking see uh, basically what arnab is saying is uh, that uh, in case of iniss it is the speciality where from where more questions will be asked so your yes. weightage of time should always be towards the speciality at the same time general part questions will come and every question is going to matter so general part uh, you are following nelson you can follow and uh, as many of the other interviews i have taken today they, all of them are agreeing on this that the prep ladder content if you are running short on time that can always be uh, yes. used and uh, obviously he also and said for biostat bio and yes bio sir, tell about biostat one, one book i want to recommend high yield biostat one book is there the uh, fourth edition i had uh, that book is very concise uh, that is around 120 pages so, 124 i think huh? yes, like this, yes yes uh, so that book is very useful um, and i can read well, anyone can read it in two to three days max to max and that uh, some questions will be there from that book only now the uh, topics will be covered from that book then some conceptual questions will be there some formula based questions will be there and uh, that book is going to help because that is the thing it is a elimination test so you have to know something different from the others so everyone is reading pediatrics, everyone reading neurology. So you have to be strong on the biostat as well as health program. So for health programs, uh, I used online resources mostly and some uh, uh, health programs from the also the CFM book also. Sometimes I, uh, very few topics only. But for biostat, I used high yield biostat. That is very useful book. Awesome. So uh, what place are you going to join neurology now? Uh, sir, college I yet not decided, but. Uh, as I completed my MD from MIMS Patna only, so uh, one like thought process is that I might join here only because all the it's faculty... a good place, and yes. you know the system. See, knowing the system yes. actually reduces your uh, mental pressure also. Yes, you sir. know uh, where the reports go. You know who are the people yes, you should be. You know careful about. So small little things do matter, right? It makes your uh, residency days a bit better. So, wise decision. Actually, I'm very impressed. Arnav, you have a very streamlined process and a streamlined thought process you are having and that is getting reflected in the rank. So, Arnav, yeah. uh, you might have, uh, you have been successful, but there might have been other people who have contributed to your success. So, any shout outs, any uh, uh, dedication you want to give to people? Well, the dedication, they should be uh, very sincere about study. And they should not be like uh, uh, use multiple resources. They should be strict with the single resources. Mm -hmm. And uh, revise is the key. So we do re revision two, three, four times, whatever you feel uh, that is sufficient for you. And uh, do study those uh, cover those topics which are is not covered by the others, like mm -hmm. the difficult topics like biostats and the health program. Those are not usually covered by the others. So that will give you extra edge. And um, and revision is the key. So I would suggest key, do revise, do revise, do revise. Any so, people you want to thank for your success? Your teachers, sir, your, I, teachers your family? Yes, sir, I, would, uh, I would like to share my sincere gratitude to all the faculties and the members of AIMS Patna. They are very helpful throughout my three-year journey as well as, as my during the preparation. And my friends, uh, especially I would like to take name uh, Dr. Sukrit. Uh, actually, he told me to take seven days of uh, EL actually, our leaves, and uh, so that I can read at my home. Otherwise, I was thinking I will be continuing duty as well as I will be reading. So he told, okay, this is your second chance. Don't lose the opportunity. Take the seven days leave. Otherwise, you will be regretting in future. So that was the one thing that helped me. And I would uh, like to thank my friends, other friends and family members. Uh, for uh, being, being very supportive throughout this preparation phase. Awesome. So, Dr. Arnab, on and behalf also of also, prep letter, especially you that uh, pediatrics part, general pediatrics part, uh, general pediatrics and systemic pediatrics. I followed your note and your way of teaching and the conceptual videos, very brief but still informative, are uh, very useful, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, Arnab. Uh, uh, see, uh, based upon what Arnab has said, uh, please note down these points. He has a very clear-cut thought process. And on behalf of the prep ladder team, I can tell to the, all these students who are listening to this that uh, the new AIMS protocol we are going to include into our new upcoming videos. So yes, you have to do it. Uh, you have to read them yourself. 
But in case you need some critical help from our end, some uh, simplification that will be done from our end. So, but Anna will not be needing it, as I said before, because he has cracked the exam. He's in the top five of the country, going to go into DMNotology. And on behalf of the entire preparatory team, I wish you all the very best for this new venture. And uh, Arnab, do well. And you have already made everyone proud. Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank you so much.